Hello, my name is Yvette Breckenridge, and this is Monday Moments with God. There is a quote that says that their encouragement is the oxygen of the soul. And I believe that sometimes we just need to know that in the midst of the things that we have been called to do, that we have encouragement that's going to come along the way. Also, Joshua needed that same encouragement after the death of Moses. And the Lord encouraged Joshua in the new role that he had purposed for him to do. He told him about Israel's borders and he established the boundaries for the promised land. And also the Lord's word came to Joshua and he indicated to him what he was going to do for him if he simply listened to him. And I know that as you start this week, there might be some things that you are challenged with as well. And I hope that this short word would be an encouragement to you. And it's found in Joshua, the first chapter and the seventh through the ninth verse. And I'm gonna read from the Christian Standard Bible and it reads, above all, be strong and very courageous to observe carefully the whole instruction of my servant Moses commanded you. Do not turn from the right or to the left so that you will have success wherever you go. This book of instruction must not depart from your mouth. You are to meditate on it day and night so that you carefully observe everything that's written in it for you will prosper and succeed in whatever you do. Haven't I commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord is with you wherever you go. In the case of Joshua, God ties his obedience to his success because he says, above all, be strong and very courageous and observe carefully the whole instruction my servant Moses commanded you. Do not turn from the right or the left so that you will have success everywhere you go. I wonder sometimes if we were to listen carefully very carefully to the voice of the Lord, to the entire instruction of the Lord and obey it. Not like a Pharisee, you know, but as a loving son or daughter, listening to the wonderful advice of a father, if we could really increase in our own success, because the Lord has given us great instruction. And if we obey it wholly, not with um, a grudgingly, not because it's a Pharisaic thing to do, but because we love our God and because he has good instruction and wise counsel to us, whether or not we would have much better success than trying to do things on our own. Because he says in verse eight that this book of instruction number one, must not depart of out of our mouths. So if it's de not departing out of our mouths, we've got to have these things memorized so that when we're going through our days that seem to be a little troubling, we can quote a scripture to ourselves, not to someone else, but to ourselves to remind us of the instructions to obey the Lord. The instruction number two says that we're supposed to meditate on it day and night, which means that not only are we memorizing the scripture just to say that we've memorized it, but we're to, to think about it and to think about it and to pray on it and to meditate on it and to think about it day and night so that it gets in our spirit, gets into our hearts, get into the person that we are. And then we're supposed to carefully observe everything that's written in. So we're not just going through and memorizing the scripture, but we're going through and looking at the text itself and looking at it very carefully, making sure that it looks at it for ourselves and saying, God, what is there that's written there down there for me to observe 
and to do in my life. And he says that for if we do this, we will one prosper. And it doesn't mean necessarily money, but we will prosper in the things that we do and succeed in whatever we do. And I think that God really wants that for us. He gives us things, he purposes things, he gives us jobs, he gives us tasks for us to be successful in it. And we cannot do this on our own. We can do it in our own strength, but wouldn't we want to be more successful with him? Verse nine says that, haven't I commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Have this encouragement from God. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord is with you wherever you go. I want to remind you this week, as you go throughout this week, that the Lord is with you wherever you go. You don't have to worry that whatever the Lord has commanded you and I to do, he's going to be with us. He's not going to leave us. He's not going to forsake us. He's going to be with us wherever we go. So let's pray. Father, thank you for not allowing this word to depart out of our mouths, God, in a way where we don't meditate on it. But Father God, we observe to do everything that's written therein. Lord, you promised that if we did all of that, letting this word remind us, letting this word Father God, carefully observing it, Lord God, meditating on it, God, that our way would be prosperous, we would have good success. And then you told us to be strong and courageous, God, because whatever you've called us to do, God, even this week, God, you will be with us everywhere we go. So God, we thank you for the encouragement, God. It is the oxygen for our soul today. And God, we ask God that you would continue to guide us along the way, so that we don't ever find ourselves trying to run this race as believers in Christ Jesus on our own, thinking that our own intellect, our own experience, our own education will get us to where we need to go. We need you and we thank you, God, for being the one that as you were with Moses and you were with Joshua, you will be with us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for being with us today in Monday Moments with God. God bless you and have a great week.